Hey, today I'm gonna be showing you how to export Salesforce flows from a sandbox environment over to your production org. And you might be searching for how to do this, how to import and export your flows, but the proper terminology you're probably looking for here is deploying change sets from sandbox to production. So that's gonna help out. But um, if you're like me, then you might end up finding this video helpful because um, you're not using the proper terminology here. So let's just do a quick run through of how you're gonna do these outbound and inbound uh, change sets. So first you wanna be logged in to your sandbox organization and you wanna navigate here to the outbound change sets. Now, before you do any of this, obviously you need to make sure that the connection is set between the two so you can push or pull information from them, um, different topic, but let's, let's hop into how to do this. So, so here we're gonna click new and we're gonna give this a name and we're going to save that. From here, we need to add whatever we wanna, you know, copy over to our production org. And we're gonna go ahead and we're going to find our flow and we're gonna select flow definition, all right? And then you find the flow that you made and you just check it off and add to change that. Here, we'll add a profile so that we have access when we transfer it over. So we'll find system admin here, add to change set. And from there, we'll just click upload. Check this off, run upload. So now you can see that the upload is currently in progress. So we'll wait for that. So the change set was uploaded successfully. So now what we have to do is go on over to our actual production org to then do the rest of this. Okay, so now that we're in the production org, you're gonna go to your quick finder under the setup and find inbound change sets, right? So we're already here. We're gonna press continue. And here you can see the change sets awaiting deployment, the one that we just created. So the first thing you wanna do is click validate. Now, depending on what type of flow you've created or other kind of apps that you may be pulling over, um, these are all gonna depend, but in our case, we're just gonna validate, validate this as the default. So we're gonna press okay, and this will do its thing. Okay, so once you have that validated, as you can see here, I actually had one error in validation, which is why I validate, I had forgotten to create the new field I needed in our production org. So now I have that succeeded, I actually can go ahead and know that it's working and I'm going to deploy it. And the deployment has started. And we have deployed two out of two components. So now this should be all set to you. So if I go over to my flows, I will now see my new and then from here, you're just gonna wanna make any uh, changes that you might need to tweak for your production work, but everything has been copied over. So I hope you find this useful. Like always, have any questions, leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.